Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do Diagon Alley's Wizard Weasley's Wizard Weezes. Um, the set's 934 pieces. Hello, Tierney! Um, and I just want to give... Oh my god. There's almost like 98 views post, uh, live on my last stream. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who viewed it and who's liked me. I'm up to 28 followers from 16 at the beginning of last stream. So, I got 12 new followers in that last stream and post stream and i just want to say thank you again to everybody who stopped by and dropped in so i'm 22 uh, right now that's all i need is 22 new followers and i'll make affiliate so i just can't say thank you enough to everyone who uh popped in stayed and talked or just popped in and then left and especially to everybody who has followed. Let's see how many bags are in this. Ah. And I finally got the new scan thing to work. It kept making me re-log in every time I tried to scan uh, instruction booklet to add points to my account. So I finally got that fixed. That was great because that was getting real annoying. It only shows bags 1 through 9, but I have a bag 10 here, so I guess we'll just roll with it. Get these bags in order. And I, I have my fancy Harry Potter cup. And there is stickers with this set. I always feel like I don't get the stickers on great or even. Um, I reset my follower goal to 50 for affiliate. And uh, it looks like we build two things in this set. Um, like the Owl Mail and then the Weasley Store. Um, how has everybody been since midweek? Anything fun and exciting happen? It's bags one and two make like the owl mail center. Ooh, look, a different colored. Uh, are you doing feeling better though? Each day a little bit better, Tyranny? Because as long as it's you're feeling a little better every day, that's good. You don't want to start feeling worse again. I'm glad that you're you're feeling better a little bit each day. So this set, I meant to say it before, has um, seven minifigures. So we have Ginny, Weasley, Romunda Vane, Ron Weasley, Lavender Brown, the Owl Post Worker, Fred Weasley, and George Weasley. So it looks like in this set, uh, this bag, we're building the owl 
uh, host worker. And she does not have the double face like a lot of the minifigures have, where they have, like, one face on one side and a different, um, like, a different uh, expression on the other side. She just has the one face. This wand does not want to go in her hand. Oop. Anybody else hate this when you can't get the wand or whatever they're supposed to hold in their hand? There we go, eventually. So there is our owl postal worker. Make her stand up a little bit straighter so she can just immediately fall over. But yeah, it looks like bags one and two are the L Post Office. And then the rest are the Weasley Shop. And I feel like I've already run out of room to display slash store Legos. bag didn't have very many Legos in it at all. Oh, now I got the hiccups. <laughs> I've been trying to catch some other streamers streams uh, that followed me, so it helps too. Then I can get ideas about how to change things I'm doing in my stream or whatever. Just the drop-in raid from the last stream, and then it seems all the, the post viewers, the post views on my last feed. I've just been over the moon and so excited, and I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. It's going to look like a little post office, little mailbox. I'm going to it. Okay, now we have a little window. Anybody have anything fun and exciting they're going to do for the uh, holiday coming up? Put that window in. Oops. Okay, let me set that aside real quick. I'm going to build 
a doorway. Well, that's kind of cool. There was a little, one of those little turn Legos in there and you set it on there so that it keeps the door at an angle. We're going to get one camping trip in this summer for the holiday weekend. Ooh, our first sticker. Let's see if I can get this in here nicely. It's not centered at all. Sometimes it's good to have nails and sometimes not so much. I should have had a Tweezers, that's the word I'm looking for. Boop. Oh, there we go. Now let's see if we can get that one. I'm stuck in the back. Okay, let's try this again. Well, that's slightly better, not a ton, but better than it was. Okay, that was it for bag one. Like I said, it didn't have very many Legos in that bag. So, it, it's gonna be the Al Post Office. And it's supposed to like mash right up against and connect to the Weasley store. In this one, I think we're building, oh, nope, 
Lavender Brown. I was going to say Ginny Weasley, but no, it's Lavender Brown is this minifigure. We're building this from this bag. Again, not a, a, a ton of Legos in this bag. No wand for her, just owl mail. She does have the double face though on her minifigure head. That is Lavender Brown. Got some owls. We'll have another sticker this time. Little sticker it says owl post on it Gonna be like a, a pile of mail. And I saw an interesting, <laughs> well, interesting to me anyway, uh, like meme whatever thing the other day. It said, since there are no holidays between 4th of July and Halloween, that as soon as 4th of July is over, you can start decorating for Halloween. Not that I've ever needed a reason. I, in fact, don't often take a lot of my Halloween stuff down. It's just up all year long my spooky decorations. Not that I have a ton. But, it's spooky season, so you can start decorating. I'll wait to put my Halloween blow-ups, though, till October. Sunday is a lazy day at our house. My kids just get up, shower, and put on different pajamas. Do <laughs> you guys do lazy Sunday too? Or do you get up, get dressed, and actually do things? We usually try to do like an easy meal to crock pot or instapot. Something with very little effort required. Lazy day at your house? Well, I mean, your house is my house, so. Okay. 
there's the piece I'm looking for. Sometimes we go get donuts on Sundays too, but today we just did um, cinnamon rolls from a jar, can, roll, whatever. Building another sign. Another Alpo sign, but this one's bigger. And it's going to go right on the side there. It's going to hang. Like a street sign right there. Hello, the Yellow Witch. Welcome back. How are you today? So this is how the owl post is coming along so far. And now I'm going to set it kind of aside because we're going to work on what could be like a stove. I'm not sure. The Yellow Witch. How did you get that name? Is it like a reference to Wizard of Oz? Or is it something different? Maybe a, a video game? Did you have fun yesterday at least? At least the tired is worth? So you're in a big difference. It's it's like 12.30 here, so seven hours time difference for you. I would be tired too. That's like, I would probably, you know, I would have stepped in way late. We got a gold owl. That's pretty cool.
Was it all kinds of 90s music or a specific kind of 90s music? More stickers. They kind of look like uh, curtains. And I just realized I've got to turn on the other light in this room. Supernatural, I love it. My husband teases me all the time because I probably watched the show five million times and I would watch it five million more because I'm a huge uh, Sam and Dean fan. Eurodance, okay. I love all things Sam and Dean. Listen, there's nothing wrong with being, with liking them. Is it kind of going to be like lanterns, I guess? Lights? So that's how that attached onto there. My brain was thinking stove and it was really <laughs> the doorway. Right? I mean, Sam and Dean are the best. Followed closely by Castiel. And I love Felicia Day. She's in that show like everywhere. I probably watched that show like start to finish like 10 times and I don't care I would watch it 10. Okay, that was all the stickers on that one. I'm supposed to have two of these type on there, but I can't find the other one, so I'll just knock it on the floor. Check my bucket of extras. That one's a pretty common extra. finishing binging a show called Evil. It was about like a priest, a psychiatrist or something like that, and this other guy. And they basically worked for the Catholic Church doing 
or finding out about exorcisms, like if they needed to be performed or not. It was kind of interesting. It's got like demons and all kinds of stuff. It was, I would watch more episodes. They only have three seasons so far, so it was a short binge. Yeah, it was just called Evil. It, it was pretty good. It had the actor who plays Nick... Um, oh, he does the Marvel. He's like the the male equivalent of Jessica Jones. In fact, she dates him in the show. Uh, but yes, it was him. And it was a good show. Hopefully they make more episodes. Okay, I think that's it for this kind of owl mail place. So I'll set that over there. Now we're going to work on the Weasel store. And I think the the mini clip for this. Yep, it's one of the Weasleys. It's Fred Weasley. There's not a whole lot of pieces in these bags, so. I have the uh, Diagon Alley set. So, when I'm done building this, we can compare it to the big uh, Weasley store in that set. Well, that's good. I hadn't, like, delved in and tried to search for it anywhere else. I had watched, like, a couple episodes one other time. And I think I was just more interested in watching a different show. So I stopped watching it. And then I saw it again, and I was like, hmm, let's, let's try it again. But it's pretty interesting. The whole premise is that, like, like, the Catholic Church is trying to get rid of these different demon families so that they don't tip the scales in the favor. And they're saying all the anger and sadness and stuff is proof that the devil is winning. And the Catholic Church that they work with is trying to stop them from winning. Either way, it, it, it looks like a pretty interesting show, or it is a pretty interesting from, from the ones I've watched so far. I got it not, I don't want to say not long after it came out, to be honest. I'm in America, right? So I bought it with one of the stimulus checks we got because it was extra money because we were up to date on bills and all kind of stuff, and we had bought stuff we needed. And then we had extras, so I bought it with that, and I built it, like, right away. My husband tells me I built them too fast. Right now, I want, well, I've always wanted it, but I think I'm closer to buying it, save up all my pennies, is the big Hogwarts. And I know it went from 4 to 470 uh, so it's still, it's, it's scary expensive. It's so expensive. But I just want it so bad. I watched it on Paramount Plus, but I'm sure it's probably on other things as well. Fight with another wand. Oh, that one went in. There you go. I know nobody, it's not cable anymore, but once you started adding up all the streaming services, it's basically as much as cable anymore. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's what I might wind up doing, waiting and seeing if they do like double points day or something. And I'm close to on the points on Lego to getting $100 off, so that would help a lot. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait for the next time they have a double point stay and other buy other things and then get points off. I know Gringotts uh, is coming out this next month, and I want that one too. And that one's expensive too; it's like four hundred and thirty. Why do all the good ones have to be super expensive? <laughs> yeah. It is, it's so, some of them are just so expensive. Right? And Tupperware you use over and over. Speaking of Tupperware, my mother-in-law, like, I guess my sister-in-law helped my mother-in-law go through all her cabinets to, like, get rid of stuff that she wasn't really using anymore and just takes up cabinet space. And she had her Tupperware from, like, the 70s and 80s, whatever. So now it's in my kitchen because it's still usable. I was like, if you're just going to donate it, can I take it instead? <laughs> I feel like you can never have enough Tupperware or storage containers. So besides, obviously, the, the Hogwarts Lego, uh, Legos, Yellow Witch, do you have any other ones that are kind of like your favorite to build or that you enjoy building? cars, the bigger cars versus the speed champions.
I guess because they take longer to build. Or they're, I guess, I would say more realistic, but there's more features to them. I love how it's like crooked, the attack on the burrow. Like every time we go to move and I have to move it, it takes me a minute to be like, nope, it's that's supposed to be sitting that way. <laughs> a lot of the Harry Potter ones too. I want to say I'm only like 10 sets or something like that shy of having all of them. Yeah, and the, like the kitchen, how like detailed it is. She cooks like a whole thing in there and then they have the uh, clock. Mama Weasley's clock. Tiny sticker. Okay, number I do love how all the Weasley sets are like crazy colorful. Yeah, I don't have any of like the super old ones, just mainly when it started in like 2020, 2019, whatever, forward. Maybe it's 2018. Let me see on my uh, Lego app what the oldest, you know, date is 19. Oops, a little bit over. I know some of the old ones are like crazy expensive. Mainly because nobody has them anymore. Yeah, basically any gift anybody gets in my house, it's 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 probably Legos. Or for me, books. The kids like books too. Let's see. Harry well, go to my thing first. Let's see. Go down, down. So it says I only have two Fantastic Beasts, but I don't know if that's because there's only. I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to look it up. Um, it says I have 46 Harry Potter sets. 47 with this one. Uh, but yeah, it looks like... Oh, it doesn't do them by year when you just look at the category. Or like my collection versus the category. <laughs> Let's see. Look at the Harry Potter. Thing. 
Oh, wow. On the app, it says it goes all the way back to 2001. Oh, I found it. The ship. Oh, that's a cute little ship. So yeah, 2018 are like, I have those sets going forward. Most of them. In fact, I have all of the ones in 2018 except for the Hogwarts castle, the, the big huge castle. <laughs> You'll be fine, crazy. Yeah, uh, if you go to the Lego Builder app, you can choose the Harry Potter category and then go like all the way back. It shows you everyone ever built, uh, uh, ever, you know, that they created or put out for, right? and it tells you what years they came out. And you can go all the way back to the first year they started making those. And it'll tell you which ones are there. You can do that with every category, like the brickheads, the icons, the uh, idea sets. You can do that with all of them. Okay, put that there. It is because you know they people kids took them apart and then lost them like don't have all the pieces anymore or just in general like you know they got donated to Goodwill or whatever nobody expect you you know ever expects it to turn out like it did where you know people are still trying to get them later 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 yes uh, crazy. One of the Minx tra Misk train or whatever. Yeah, you can make a list of your own, um, which we had done a long time ago. But adding, but now, if you still have the books, you can rescan them and then say add points, and uh, then you can add it'll add points to your account. Before it just used to be a place where you could keep kind of track of your collection, you know, because you go to to wherever, you know, Target, Walmart, whatever, and you're like, do I have that uh, speed car or not? So it's just a really good way to keep track of which ones we had and which ones we didn't with some of the stuff. Or like, for me with the kids, I can't remember every Lego set they've got, so I would just scan it and put it in there and add it to the thing so that I would know which ones they had and didn't when people would ask things they wanted. So, the, we've been using the Builder app for forever, but yeah, you can do that. Now you can scan it, and it'll add it to the thing, plus it'll ask you if you want to add points. I still can't get the treasure hunt part of the, the new LEGO Insiders to work. I've tried it on my phone, on my tablet, my husband's phone. It just keeps telling us that it needs permissions to use motion sensors and the camera no matter how many times I say yes it still won't allow me to do it so if anybody else can get that to work good for you Yeah, we, where we used to live in North Dakota, about an hour from us, was a third-party Lego seller. And they would buy Legos from people and then resell them. And they had the train he wanted for like 400 And they go through it and make sure all the pieces are there. You know, all the pieces, all the stickers. And if it's not in the set, then they order it and try to get in contact with Lego to get them. So it was a nice deal. 
It was a good place to find like older ones that were retired. Where we've moved to, I have not found a store kind of that does the same thing. so cool. I read about the Lego house all the time in their emails. That is definitely on my like wish list of places to visit. definitely let you know. Hi, big tractor tracks. Yeah, that's definitely, I think my all time and has been for a long time, like place I want to visit is Ireland. I want to go to the Trinity College and go to their library, which I know is like a weird thing to put on your bucket list, but I'm obsessed with books. So... <laughs> It's like the oldest library. it just popped right back off. Okay, another sticker. <laughs> That's my my other hobby. I am um, I read and review like indie author books before they come out. So the author are like sign up through a blog tour company and I'll get the book before it comes out and then I read it. I write a review about it and then I post it on my blog. And uh, sometimes the authors will contact me themselves like independently or you can join um, author groups on Facebook and then you join their their art group after that and then you can read stuff before it comes out I usually read about 300 books per year which always trips people out they're like how can you read that much well I don't know I just do <laughs> and I'll read just about anything I mean I'm not big on like Christian romances because I'm not big into religion, but I have read a few. It really depends on, on how much religion is it, in it, whether I'll read more by that author or not. This is how it's coming along so far, all the shelves inside. It looks like Hermione's in this bag. Yeah, yeah, I have... I go to, um... Book signings. 
and uh, I have like 400 signed copies of different books. I love to read. Okay, so two of these, 12 windows, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, and six of these window frames. The window sills and so Window frames, that's the word I'm looking for. And then, what is Hermione's other face? And then we'll build Hermione. There's the ones. Do you have a favorite genre that you like to read or just about anything? I mean, I will read just about anything, but I like the kind of dark stuff. You know, she gets kidnapped, he'll roast the world for her kind of a deal. And like mystery thrillers. as I like to call them, morally gray. <laughs> yeah, I have, uh, I went to a small local one, uh, like two weekends ago, last weekend, I don't know. Um, and there were only like four local authors there and I got like five books. Uh, but there's one coming up in March where I'm from with, that's going to have like a hundred uh, indie authors from all over the world. There's going to be one lady there that I know is from Australia. This will be the second time I've got to meet her at a book signing. Uh, but yeah, I mean from all over. And from going to, you know, I, I don't know, maybe I've gone to like 10 or so, which isn't like a ton of book signings. But I probably have something like 400 signed copies. But I will order them from the author's website. And I've got them for like Christmas gifts and birthday presents and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, let's turn this back around. Oh. I did, but I didn't. I tell my husband all the time, it's not hoarding if it's books, then you're a librarian. And it's never that you have too many books. The problem is that you have not enough bookshelves. of the same things I like like MC and mobsters and you know the Bratva versus the mafia I love all that kind of stuff I like to call them morally gray they're bad but they're not bad to her but yeah I love like Faye and and shifters of all kinds, not just wolves. Uh, that whole kind of a deal. These. Grabbing the wrong pieces. And 
I like Fifty Shades too. There are some authors though that like make Fifty Shades seem like nothing. Uh, one of my favorite authors for for kind of that stuff is uh, Jenna Jacob. And um, T.S. Joyce uh, is another author. Like, she writes all kinds of shifters, like, from armadillos to, like, gorillas, any kind of animal. And uh, Annie Anderson writes a lot of, not necessarily, like, vampires and stuff, but, like, witches and fae and demons Yeah, I love I love the supernatural stuff too. This is a cool little, like, table thing. <laughs> okay, come on, little box, square it. So it, it's it's bad, but my son is named for Twilight. We named him Cullen because we couldn't come up with another name. We we went round and round on different names, and and finally I was like, listen, it's Jasper or Cullen, and his name is Cullen. Oh, another great author for um, she writes it's a. It's kind of a crossover of all different kinds of supernatural. There's fey in it. There's wolves. There's healers, like gypsy healers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Quinn Loftus. It's called The Gray Wolf's. And um, I think the first book in it is free. It's like perma-free. But I love that series. I've read it twice. Because I got behind... And several books had come out and I hadn't realized it because of life. And so then I had to read the whole series to catch back up. But yeah, it's uh, called The Grey Wolves by Quinn Loftus. And I'm probably saying her last name wrong, but... Ha <laughs> 
Uh, do you use Goodreads, the the app, whatever website to keep track of your books? Because I'm on there too. It helps me keep track of what I've read or what I haven't. Because sometimes it's been a while since you read said book, and you're like, I don't know, did I read that? And then you're like, yes, yes, I did, and I loved it. I'll whisper you the list or whatever. <laughs> I think it's called whispering on here where you, you send somebody a message but I'll, I'll, I'll send you them there's literally tons I love reading the retellings you know my fairy I still read fairy tales they're just dirtier now that happens a lot Yeah, it should be on iPhones. It's just called Goodreads, like all one word. Like I said, I just mainly, well, I post my reviews on there, too, as part of, like, the agreement with authors and stuff. But I originally got on there just to help me keep track of what I had read, and it'll, like, recommend other books to you based on books you've already read. Okay, let's see. I can get this on here. I hate when it won't cooperate. There we go. Man, I felt like I had to twist that around a million times to get it to, to sit just right. There we go. Okay, and that's how that piece went in right there. Now we're building the other Weasley. Fred, I believe. Or is it? No, we built Fletch. We're building George this time. Another wand. Okay. There's George Weasley. This one hardly has any blocks in that bag. Not much at all. Okay. Go. 
another reason I like that app is because sometimes when you'll type in like the name, whatever, the book, underneath when you get to like the page for the book, it'll say the title of the book and then it'll tell you the uh, like series it's part on and you can click that and then it'll have all the books for that series listed there so you can see which ones you've read or which ones you, you haven't. So that's nice. Sometimes then you're not having to look up each individual book. You can find them all grouped together. Not all of them are like that for some reason, but some are. There's a, another app called BookBub, and if you like an author or whatever, then it'll send you a notification every time, like, a book by that author goes on sale. So that's nice, too. Then you can, like, go get it while it's on sale. Or like if it's free, it'll send you a notification and you can get it while it's free. sometimes you can't like like especially when they were popular like do I have this one or did I just like it so much and convince myself I had it but I don't really have it I like being able to keep track of things like that because a lot of times it's just all too much to remember so I like I like things like that that help me keep track of CDs anymore but but that's still pretty cool okay come on there we go oh, turn back away I like anything that helps me keep track of stuff.
And uh, on Goodreads, too, if you like it, like add it to your want to read list before the book comes out, it will like notify you when it's released, too. And then if they, ha they have giveaways on there, too, um, I'm not sure how it works since you're not in America, but uh, like, you know, there might be stipulations like the, the giveaway is only good for U.S. residents or whatever, but I'm sure it would tell you because you have to list your country of origin you know when you're signing up and stuff like that um and your address so i'm pretty sure uh but it'll tell you when there's like giveaways for books you like and things like that they do giveaways through that platform i love giveaways <laughs> I think that's the end of this bag already. There was like hardly anything in there. Yeah, that was the end of that bag already. Well, that's kind of what we did. We added a little bit here and the platform for the uh, second story, second floor. more windows. Oh, another sticker. Okay, number nine. Oh, wait. We're building Ron. I almost skipped over building Ron and went on right to the, the first step of this thing. and it's probably the same. There's Ron Weasley. Okay. So it's sticker nine. And this sticker says, Best Ingesting. On a sticker 11, which says shenanigans for all. Who doesn't love shenanigans?
Come on. There we go. Oh, another sticker. Yep, three. Oh, it's like part of a word. It says ard and wheezes. So it's like um, part of the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes sign. No, that's all right. Oh, I love bacon pizza. Now, real bacon or Canadian bacon? Because no stuff posing as bacon. I need actual bacon. We do the same thing. Get a frozen pizza, and then we add stuff to it. My kids like bacon and pineapple. They're weird though. to the wizard banner, the store banner. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're weirdos. They like pineapple and bacon. Yeah, Canadian bacon's just like ham. I don't know why they call it Canadian bacon. It has to be real bacon crumbles. Okay, now we're gonna need to build two of these. Sometimes getting these windows to snap in is a pain. Ooh. <laughs> I know, I like Canadians too, but Canadian bacon's just kind of weird. Like, I don't understand it. Why not? It, it's just ham. It's just small pieces of hand. My absolute favorite pizza is bacon and pepperoni and extra cheese.
We're having kebabs for dinner, though. So when I'm done here building, I'll have to get the meat in the marinade. Peppers and fresh pineapple chunks with the beef. Is it chicken? I've seen that a couple times, like for people who can't have gluten, they have that chicken base or their cauliflower base. Well, maybe you have something different since you're in, in Europe. What is yours? Pepperoni and peppers? That's kind of cool. I wonder how that works. Like, like instead of crust, you have pepperoni and peppers? I just saw you. Oop, another sticker. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there's a, a company who makes frozen pizzas for that are like gluten free for people who can't obviously have the regular bread crust, and it's made with chicken. And then you have you know your pizza sauce and your pizza toppings. That's pretty cool. We have a little, part of a little wizard man. Okay, let me see. Down in there. Perhaps likes the supreme pizzas, but I, I don't like fungus or onions. Okay. I'll turn that around. We're building up the front of the store there. Oh, apparently I spun it at just the right time because it wanted me to spin it for the next step anyway. There are quite a few stickers left yet, so let's see where that goes. Have like a little rock thing in this shelf. Okay, and another one. Nope. There we go. And then I put it on there wrong and Let's 
some more windows. Then some more windows, 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 windows. <laughs> and then that, this will be the last step for this bag. Okay, on to bag seven, and this is a baby bag. It's not even a full size bag. No, uh, no minifigure in this bag. This bag is mostly smaller pieces. My guess is that eventually we'll put maybe arms and a head on that piece in the front. Ah, yes, because we're not putting windows in these. In these two windows here, or window frames, we're not putting windows in them. lined up. I get these on there right well knowing my luck I'll put them off just slightly incorrectly because I was trying to do it from the wrong side Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, two. another sticker this one is number eight and it said disastrous delights okay another sticker this one says petrifying products We've kind of filled in that ridge there on the front. And we'll have another sticker. It says Modern Magic. It's part of like the next big sign on the front of the thing. It'll wind up saying Masterpieces of Modern Magic. Turn it again though, so I don't put it on wrong. Okay, then this is the one will say masterpieces of to complete that kind of rounded uh, storefront sign on, on the front. Again, one of the reasons I don't like stickers is because I have trouble getting them on there. Straight, centered, whatever. And these are proving to be extra difficult. Okay. So there we have the second rounded sign there. Oh, now we're building an arm. I was right. something similar on the big Diagon Alley wizard store. Turn it so that I can get this arm on right so that you can see it. Now I knocked the whole window off. Uh, but you can see the arm there. Make sure I didn't accidentally know. Okay. Now we're going to make the other arm. Okay. 
And then this one has a little, instead of being like, um, like a closed hand, it has the thing like it's holding on to something. You can see it has like the other clip on there. Okay, and that's the end for that baby bag. This one is a, probably about the same size. And it has our last minifigure, Jenny Weasley. And I said this set was only 834 pieces. So, it had a fair amount of bags for that size. Just there weren't a ton necessarily in each bag. I do plan on trying to do that where they, a lot of the sets wind up then connecting to make a bigger set. I plan on attempting to do that. I had kind of started to attempt it and then realized that I didn't have all the sets yet. So I couldn't actually do that. So there's Jenny Weasley, our last minifigure for the set. And when you guys put your minifigures with your sets, do you kind of put them anywhere or do you use the box maybe as like a template? Like, hey, in the, on the box, this person's here. I'm going to put them here too. I kind of just stick them wherever I feel like it. There's not really rhyme or reason. Like I'd probably put either Fred or George behind like a register if they had one in this set because because it's a Weasley store and I kind of think it's more their deal. Okay, another sticker. This one says Electric Shock Shake. No sticker in this one. Kind of looks like a, a bottle of some sort. doesn't have anything in it. Okay, another sticker. This one says puking pestiles. <laughs> Not very advertising. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
three, four. Some of these give them stability. I love that the any Weasleys, any set that the Weasleys are connected to is just got tons of colors in it. Did not connect but like I thought it did. Okay, another sticker number 18 says basic blaze box. Maybe firecrackers or, or something of the sort. These little balls look like they have like a critter face on them of some kind. Oh, another sticker. Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. Then another one that says Sticky Trainers. Trying to roll away on me. glasses keep wanting to slide down my face. <laughs> These look like like shoes of some sort, the sticky trainers. Ooh. Yeah, I, I imagine, I think I'd just kind of be passed out at this point. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I probably would have slept like half the day away. So these are what the sticky trainers are shown as. Like I said, they kind of look like a pair of shoes. And I will flip this around after this step so you can see how things have been added over the last couple of steps. what's been added there on the second floor during this step. And then these, this next step is going to be like uh, the railings. And I'll spin it around again after these couple steps. At, at least you're interacting. I mostly, I'll interact like a couple times and then I just kind of do that lurking thing in the background. This almost looks like a, a snake. Yes, I love that the Weasley sets are always so much color. They always have so much color to them. So, yep, they added little, like, tops to the banisters and whatnot in that step. So in the beginning, it shows bags one through nine, but it had a bag ten in it. So I guess bag ten's just a, a mystery. 
of what will happen with it. Most definitely, one of the things I love about the Weasley sets is they just are have somewhat like bright colors compared to some of the other Harry Potter sets. Any set that really involves the Weasley a lot is super colorful. And we've already built all our minifigures, so there won't be any anymore in these last two bags. It still has it facing this way, so I'll turn it to make sure I get everything together correctly. Okay, there we go. Now we're building like the roof and stuff. Okay, one more sticker. I think it says Skiving Snack Box. And that's gonna go there. Some windows. If I can pick them up. Okay, now it has us working on something else that will probably eventually, well, almost definitely, will eventually get on there. Move this to the side a little bit so you can kind of see. Oh, this is his face. The little front guy here. Got a, I thought it was a bird for a minute, but it's actually a bunny on his head. Okay. 
it looks like there's two stickers for faces, so I'm interested in how that's going to work out. That's how that got added on there. But like I said, there's two stickers for faces of that, so I'm interested to see where that other one will go. Oh, now it looks like we're building a hat. And we got a top hat for the, the guy in the front of the building. Yes, this is one of the four buildings that was part of like the huge Diagon Alley. Here, this is a smaller version of it. And I will grab Diagon Alley off the shelf and we can compare the two. Okay, let me turn this just so I can get this. Oh, nope. You see, you have that, that kind of hat in his hand. There's still more stickers, so hopefully I didn't miss some during the thing. If, if I did, I'll have to go back and find them where I missed them. But there are still like like seven stickers on there, so we'll see where they go. <laughs> hopefully it's good. I know. Now it's making me hungry because I'm thinking about pizza. I usually just kind of lurk all together, so you talk more than I do. Okay, so let's make two of these. We'll try to build them at the same time. I keep trying to remember to look up at the comments so I don't miss any. Move this off to the side again so you can kind of see what I'm doing.
Okay, turn this around a minute so I can make sure I get them on there right. see how they kind of hang on the front there. Okay, now we're building a sign of sorts. says Sugar Plums Magical Menagerie Madam Malkins. Oh, I got them upside down. So, Madame Malkin's Magical Menagerie. Menagerie. Time's gonna go. Right there. Ooh, a little vine on top. There we go. Oh, yep, this one's gonna be like a register gonna eventually build into a register. It's like a little register and you can check people out. And it will go. Right there. Okay, now we're building another piece that will eventually go inside there.
I'm not sure what this is going to be, but... Oh! It's going to be another man. That's where the other face goes. So that's how that, <laughs> that little man is looking so far. And the next part is going to be something he holds. Okay, some more, our last two stickers. It looks like little gem type deals. And then puking pestles. Yum. Get that kind of even. Oh, yum. It looks like he's puking pustules. And he's just going to go right inside. I don't know where that piece fell on the floor. Hopefully, it's something we have a duplicate of. Oh my god, it looks like Dolores. Ew, nobody likes Dolores. Why do we, what's her deal? It looks like, almost like a chandelier with Doris, uh, Dolores Umbridge in the middle. Kind of weird. Turn her her head just a little bit. Take her hair off so it's easier to turn her face. Look at that. It looks, doesn't it look like Dolores Umbridge there? That's kind of weird. Okay, and now it says... Did I make sure I didn't miss any steps? Oh, I missed giving him arms. I did. I missed two steps of the pinky guy. I got distracted by his weirdness. and I put her in and then it says we turn it you know like this and we can click in the owl post office and you can see in the back of this book it tells you that all these different sets here, oh, let me try to move some stuff. Oh, 
all these different sets here. Was it one, two, three, four, five? Seven of them go together and they can make like this, this set here in the middle. Oop, there we go. But you can combine those all, even though they're separate sets, you combine them all to make that. And that's what my goal is. I still have, I think, one set left that I have to get, and then I'll be able to combine them to make that kind of bigger set. Um, but this is this set, the, the Weasley store there, and all their minifigures. Let's see. We'll put her by the post office because she's got a letter. You put, always put Ryan and Ron and Hermione together. We can put them upstairs. And the male lady inside the post office. And we can put Jenny inside along with her brothers, the twins. One behind the register and we'll put one in front of this door. I don't really have a rhyme or reason where I choose to put the uh, the minifigures. I kind of put them anywhere. But let me get Diagon Alley. So this is Diagon Alley, or the Weasley store from Diagon Alley. It still has this guy, except there's a thing on top that causes that you can move and then this is what the inside of that looks like so you have you know to compare but those are the two like I said I mean they're completely separate sets but this gives you an idea about like this is the set we built today and this is the Diagon Alley version um, and the Diagon Alley one they they um, connect several different ways I just have mine completely open and on the shelf kind of angled in front of each other uh, but I really like this kind of smaller set you get kind of see more inside of it than you do really with the other set. Um, does anybody know who else is on that we can jump into? I don't know who else is on right now. Sorry, I'm doing this on my laptop, so I have to kind of move things around. Um, board slash raid. Does anybody else know who's on? Let me see. Let's see. Any live channels? Oh, Scotty Watton's on. Let's see if we can dump into his. Mm -mm. 68. Maybe I need to put a space between that. Oh, there we do. I got. I did it right. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone who came today and sat around with me and chatted while we built this. Um, uh, and thank you for any new followers and everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you. I normally do like a midweek and then a Sunday, but I think this week I'm going to do like a Tuesday and either Thursday or Friday because we'll be out of town next weekend. So thank you for stopping by today, and hopefully you'll come back and chat with me again. I'm going to dump everybody into Scotty's, okay? Okay.